What's the challenge in making that dream reality, and is that still attainable for everyone in the U.S.? Not only is it attainable, but I think in the next 10 years, we're going to enter into not not a, a, a bad time for higher ed, but an age of higher ed. Technology, accessibility, online learning for adults, a number of other things are actually going to make it not only more attainable, but open up pathways for p young people, particularly young people and others who maybe had learning issues that uh, in a traditional approach they weren't able to be successful, but because of what we know about learning theory, brain theory, and these kinds of things, we're going to be able to design personalized education for them. I actually think in 10 years from now, the number of people going to college and attaining degrees is going to skyrocket because of that. Mm -hmm. I certainly think the dream is, is very attainable and is something that's going to drive the future of this country. I think what we have to be mindful of is not every student that comes to our door is fully prepared to enter college. And so we're going to have to do a better job of, of partnering with uh, secondary schools to help them prepare students to enter college. Um, that may give us an opportunities for more partnerships as well. Uh, I think that uh, those students who come in that need support, we're going to have to strengthen our learning support networks on campus to make sure those students succeed. It is in our best interest, and we have a, an ethical responsibility, a, a moral imperative, that if we admit someone, we should do everything in our power to make sure that they succeed. And I agree with everything that's been said. Uh, it's hard to argue that college is not more attainable now than it's ever been. We have more people going to college, I mean, by far. Uh, look at a graph, you can easily find one. Find a graph of the percentage of Americans who went to college start in the early 20th century and go to now. And it is a stunning move. Uh, and, you know, once you get to the 60s and, and then, you know, the 80s and 90s and beyond, it's just an amazing curve upward of the percentage of Americans attending college. But I think the, 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 the point that they're not all ready for it is a very important point. I think we need to be honest about that. We all see it. We're, we're college presidents. And we're telling you we see that. So we have to take the desire to go to college and uh, – add the ability to succeed in college or make sure that everyone that comes to our doors is supported. And it's, uh, it's frankly, it's, 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 a, it's an issue.